Alright everybody, I've got a uh, Droid X here and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install Clockwork Mod Recovery um, on the device so you, that you can make an Android backup of your device. Um, so I'm assuming you guys already have root access with an application like Super User right there uh, on your device. So if you have that, uh, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. We're actually going to download a file. Let me show it to you. It is right here. This is called Droid X Bootstrap. And actually it's not even a file, it's actually an application. So you're just going to go here and you're going to say install application and it's going to install it. Uh, when you download it, you'll be able to pull down your drop down and click on it and it'll install it that way. This is just using um, Easy Root Explorer, ES File Explorer I should say, and it's a root application. Um, so once it's installed, you're going to go right here to your app drawer right there and you're going to go ahead and here hit um, Bootstrap Recovery and click it to install it. And then, um, all you've got to do, once it's installed, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to click that right now, is go right here and hit Reboot Recovery. And it is going to boot into Clockwork Mod Recovery. So that is the Droid X Bootstrap, um, which is installs the recovery system and everything you need to boot into recovery um, on the device and when you hit boot to recovery it will boot to it the only way to get into recovery that I've seen so far anyway is to hit that app and boot into recovery that way so here we go right here this is uh, clockwork mod recovery we're going to show you guys how to make an android backup right now and that's the first thing you want to do with your device once you have root access and a custom recovery installed like clockwork mod recovery so you're going to scroll down with your volume up and down here until we hit backup and restore and then you're going to push your camera button down here in the bottom and now you that's a select button and then you got right here you have backup restore and advanced restore we're going to go backup so select it and right now it is going to make a Nandroid backup. What a an Nandroid backup is is it's a complete backup of your system exactly how it is when you make the backup so if you have passwords in, if you have apps installed, whatever it is, it makes a backup of exactly that state. So it creates an image file and um, everything on there. So it's exactly the way you left it when you made the backup. It saves it under um, the date of the backup. So you'll know what it is by the date to restore it if you need it later. Um, and the reason you do this is if you ever uh, flash a custom ROM or something like that and it messes up and device won't boot up you can always get back into uh, clockwork mod recovery and restore the backup and you'll be back to the way you were before you flashed around so that is the reason of it and that is how you use it and this is an android backup you can see we've already made some good pro progress along the bottom this process is probably going to take up to 10 minutes to run i'm going to pause we'll come back to it uh, when it's done and we'll wrap it up all right, so the backup is pretty much wrapping up here. We've backed up system, data, Android secure, cache, and we've generated an MD5 sum, which just matches and makes sure all the files are functioning correctly, and the backup is now complete. Also, before you start a backup process, before you ever pretty much get into Clockwork Mod Recovery, you want to make sure you have a 100% battery on your device because you do not want it to die on you in the middle of restoring or backing up or installing a new ROM or any of those those uh, utilities as you go through this so <clears throat> now basically that is it that you created your Nandroid backup if you ever want to restore it you can come in here and select that backup restore then go to advanced restore or actually you can just go to normal restore and then there is this restore right there if you ever want to use it to go back you can just hit the back button on the phone um, so you do have other options in here like factory reset uh, wipe cache partition, install zip from SD card, which is what you do if you're installing a ROM. Um, some mounting and storage stuff and some advanced options and power off. Uh, we don't want to do any of that right now. We're just going to go ahead and reboot the device. So you can go to reboot system now, hit your camera button to select, and go ahead and do that. Um, 
That is it guys, that is your Clockwork Mind Recovery on the Droid X. That is how to make a Nandroid backup right there. Uh, last thing I want to show you guys is how to install a different recovery and it's going to use a, my ES File Explorer to do it. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to actually download it from ROM Manager and the recovery is called um, <clears throat> Droid X Init. So, uh, it's a better recovery for this device because some of the ROMs that need that init support are are available for it and it works with all the other ROMs too so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to do it it's pretty simple we're gonna download ROM manager let me show you that application we'll go into the app drawer and right here this is ROM manager so you've got it downloaded and come on boot up ROM manager might take a second here. So there you go. Um, and we're going to go to recovery setup. And we're going to say right here install um, update recovery. Hit that one. I'm being a little slow right now. So confirm phone model. Um, right here, this is where you got to go through this and figure out the model on it which we have, like I said, is the Motorola Droid X. So right here, this is what we want. Motorola Droid X second in it. And it's by Shadow. It says Shadow down below it. Um, so that's what we actually want to install on this device. Uh, so basically, you're just going to hit it and it's going to download it. So let me show you where it's going to download it to and how to install it or the best way to install it is to come down here to ES File Explorer, which is a root application. It's going to need to have root access, which can be done by going to settings and going to root settings and checking all these boxes. So, once you have that, you are going to go into your SD card and you're going to go to clockwork and you're going to go to downloads, downloads, recoveries, and right here, this is the recovery you just downloaded. It's called Recovery Clockwork and we're going to hold it and we're going to copy it all right so then we're going to come out of this out 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 until you're back to the just slash up here in the top bar and you're going to go to pre-install recovery and right here this is the recovery you want to replace so what you want to do is you want to take this one and you want to well first of all let's look at what it's called it's called recovery.zip so we're going to hold it down and we're going to actually call this one, we're going to do a rename. So we're going to call this recovery.zip.bak, push OK. Now it's in there and if you ever want it, you can just rename it to not BAK. BAK stands for backup. So then we're going to take this one here, hold it down, hit paste. And if you have root permission, it will paste it into this folder. For some reason I find if I back out and go back in you'll see it then. So it's right there but it's not called the right thing so we're going to hold it down, rename and we're going to go ahead until we can call it recovery.zip because that is what it was called originally and voila now you've just updated to the uh, Droid X recovery that is the second in it. So that is awesome. Now you can run those ROMs that's, and use that for support. And you are good to go. Your original recovery is backed up, which is nice. And now you have the newest recovery on there. can be entered the exact same way as you did with the Bootstrap AP, uh, app and just hit Reboot Recovery. Um, so there it is. That is pretty much the full roundup on the recovery system and making an Android backup. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Also updating, obviously, to the second in it recovery clockwork mod recovery so i hope you guys like this hope it was informative for you you got something out if you did please check out my website above my thumb rootjunkie.com lots of great stuff on there updating it daily uh please follow me on facebook or twitter and uh that's it guys uh, we'll catch you guys next time thanks for watching